Hello and welcome to Code Sketched. So far in this React series, we have looked at the state, context, and effects. These three concepts form the pillar that React stands on. But in today's video, we'll look into the optimization techniques that you might think of applying once you have a functioning React app. The two concepts that we are going to look into today are use memo hook and the react.memo function. To a beginner, these concepts may sound almost similar, but there is a very clear distinction between their purposes. Let us explore them one by one. Let us say you have a pretty expensive function in your React component. Let us assume that it is a pure function that takes in two arguments called items and filter respectively and returns a list of filtered items after doing some expensive calculation. As we've got to know how React works from the past few videos, this function runs on every render and hence this line of code gets executed on every render too. We definitely want that to happen because we want the latest filtered list to be displayed on the UX. But what about the scenario when the component re-renders, but the items and filter have not changed? For example, if this toggle theme button is clicked, the component still re-renders because the set is dark mode function is called, but items and filter have not changed. And hence, theoretically, we should be getting the same filtered list output as the expensive function is a pure function and the inputs have remained unchanged. One way to achieve this result is with the use effect hook. As we know this from a previous video, use effect lets us execute functions conditionally based on some dependencies. So we can create a state variable called filtered and run the expensive function inside use effect like so. This will only run the expensive function once on the first render and thereafter when any of the dependencies change. Thus, if the dark mode trigger button is clicked now, the expensive function won't run again. This is a good solution, but we can do better. And this is where the use memo hook comes into the picture. Use memo provides us with a clean way to accomplish what we were trying to do before without the hoops of use effect and use state. With use memo, we just assign the value returned by use memo to the filtered variable and the hook takes care of the rest. The hook also takes a dependency array as the second argument so that it knows when to recalculate the result. And hence, it recalculates only when those dependencies change. The end result is same, but this is way better than the use effect based solution for several reasons. I'll put up a link to a stack overflow answer that explains this in detail. By the way, use memo also takes care of the case where the component gets rendered because of a parent render. Let us say that the parent of this component re-renders, but the props passed down, that is items and filter have not changed. In that case too, the expensive function would be skipped and the previous result will be used. With that understanding now, let us get into react.memo. It is somewhat similar in principle to use memo, but it works at the component level. What do I mean by that? Let us say we have a parent component, which has a child component. Whenever the parent re-renders, the child has to re-render. There are no exceptions to this rule and this always happens. All the children inside a parent always re-render. But there's a catch. Just as we prevented the running of the expensive function by wrapping it inside of use memo, we can prevent the child component from re-rendering by wrapping it inside of react.memo. That tells React to only re-render the child component if the props that it accepts have also changed since the last render. But then it is on us to make sure that the child component is a pure function. That is, its output only depends on its props. And that's it. We have prevented the extra re-renders of the component when the props passed to it have not changed. That was a primer on use memo and react.memo. But there is another use case wherein both of these are quite closely related to one another. Here's a question for you. Let us say that the memoise list renderer is a React component that is exported with react.memo. Why does it still re-render when the exact same filtered list is passed on subsequent renders? And why would wrapping the expensive function with use memo not just prevent the expensive function calls, but also prevent the re-renders of the memoise list component? It is quite interesting to think about. You just need to know how references work in JavaScript. Comment the answer below and see you in the next one.